Good afternoon everyone, I'm back with another episode of the 2007-2008 uh, Retro Database Commentary City FM24 save. And uh, in the last episode, we basically drew three games and won one game. Not the best of episodes, but we, did, we didn't lose, so at least there's that. Um, we managed to do a decent comeback in one of the matches right at the end as well. We worked hard. So we're currently fourth in the league, which is basically where we were the episode before. So as long as we keep going, we'll be in the playoffs at least, which is way better than I was expecting. So I'm looking forward to this episode to see how we get on. So with that, I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. Right, so we've got a sort of a local derby, Midlands derby coming up now against Wolves away. Wolves are currently 14th in the league. Um, I think this was round about the time where they were in and out of League One and Championship. This was before they end up becoming the team that we know about now in the Premiership. Um, so yeah, dark times ahead for Wolves fans in this database, but hopefully we can continue the misery now with the win against them. Um, we've got Misford and Andrews up front, Tab on the right, Hugh on the left, and I think the rest of the team is pretty much the same as before. So hopefully we can start this episode on a good note. As always, I will quickly check the opposition lineup to see who they have. So, Matt Murray, I remember him. I was a bit of a fan of Wolves back in the day as a local team to me. Um, so, yeah, they've got quite a few good players. Danny Simpson, good player. Um, Darren Ward, Gary Breen, Paul Henry, Apatu, uh, Fred Eastwood, Andy Keogh. But, yeah, you can tell it's a very... Not the best of uh, Wolves teams. Hennessy, uh, Darren Potter, Kitely. Kitely was one of the top young prospects in the world, but it just didn't work out. I think he just ended up staying at Wolves. I could be wrong. Jay Boothroy, former Cobb player. Is he a former Cobb player at this point? Yeah, former Cobb player. Did all right at Coventry, to be honest. Uh, I'll enter the shortlist. Maybe we'll bring him back. He's only 25. Right then, let's crack on. Wolves with the first highlight of the game. I uh, I went and saw Cabri Athletic yesterday. Had a really nice time. The weather wasn't the best, but it was a nice. Oh, here we go. Good say. It was a it was a good game. We Cabri Athletic lost five one, um, but they scored. A, their goal was a really good goal. They the the player lobbed the the keeper from about like forty yards. It was a great goal, um, but other than that. They didn't really perform, so I think I've already jinxed them. Uh, but we'll see. They haven't got a game. They haven't got a home game next Saturday. Playing away, and then after that, they've got two home games. So I'm going to go to them. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. And I, I met a nice guy called Kevin, who has been there. He's been watching Cabri Athletic now for about six or seven years. Um, he's originally from Bristol, um, Gloucester. Sorry, not Bristol, but he he lived he's lived in Bristol and he supports. Bristol Rovers, so he goes and sees them. So we were talking about some of the players that Bristol Rovers used to have back in the day, like Marcus Stewart and all them lot. So um, and he gave me a bit of a history lesson on Cabri Athletic as well, and he was a really nice bloke and had a really nice time chatting to him. And hopefully I'll chat to him again at the, the next game, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, had a really nice time. Get in, one nil j -Tow. And then I went and saw me friends for a bit on the evening. So that was nice. Uh, and today I've just uh, oh yeah and I yesterday I won on the on the football as well I did a I did a sixfold accumulator and it came in so I won hundred and twenty six quid off a five quid acker so I can't complain ooh I can't complain on that one so I've done a couple of little bets accumulators for today's football not spent loads I, I just spent like the six quid that I had in change and that's that really but yeah been a it was a good day yesterday. Hope you're all having a nice weekend so far. I know the weather's back to being miserable, but we couldn't have hot weather all the time. It would just not be good for us. Uh, right, 1-0 up. Michael Hughes with the ball. I swear to God, every t every game I play on, on this database, it's always raining. Oh, that was a beautiful touch. Oh. Such a beautiful touch by Misford there, and nice, nice. That would have been a great goal if that went in. 
Right, Wolves knocking on our door at the moment. Danny Simpson with a beautiful cross. Luckily, Dazu headed out. Oof. We are doing very well to stay in this game at the moment. Wolves with the corner. Oh, good tackle there. Right, J Tav on the break now. Passes it to Misford. Misford drives it forward on the left. Passes it back to Pugh. Pugh looks for space. Passes it in. Unfortunately, goes straight for the goalkeeper. It was it? I think it was an attempt of a pass, of a cross, but just hit the player. Uh, I'm not going to do anything else at the moment. Gary Breen used to be a Coventry player as well, didn't he? Let's add Gary Breen to the shortlist. How old is he? 33. Hmm. I'll add him anyway, you never know. Let's give him a scout. He can replace uh, the zoo as our elderly statesman at the club. Um... So I went into the Cadbury Athletic clubhouse thing or whatever it is where they where they do food and drinks and stuff and I was like, what food have you got? And they go, well, unfortunately, there's a wedding at the venue today so we haven't got access to the kitchen. So I had to have a... I hadn't eaten anything all day because I was like, oh, I'll just have something at the game. And uh, they were, all they had was uh, Cadbury's chocolate, believe it or not. So I ended up having a, a big-ish or a medium-sized bar of Cadbury's chocolate which i absolutely scoffed within about a minute or two um and then i got back i had a quick sandwich before i went out and then the plan was to go to mcdonald's on the way home from going out um but we changed our mind because we we're just too tired at the end so we just went straight back went to bed so i'm quite hungry at the moment so when i finish off here doing this video i shall be making myself a lovely sausage and sandwich Right, I don't think they're going to accept any of them requests because I'm minus 868 grand. Um, but anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the next. Right, next game up is against Hull City. So we'll just crack on. Misford and Andrews up front again. Andrew hasn't, Andrews hasn't really done much to impress me. Leon Best is on the bench. Maybe Leon Best was injured, I can't remember from last episode. But I think Leon Best will be... Turning up onto the pitch for Andrews at some point. Right, first highlight goes to Hull City. That was a easy goal for Damien Dana Delaney. They got JJ Acocha. Let's have a look at the Hull team. I forgot to do that at the start of the game. Right. So they got JJ Acocha. So they got... Is that Michael Turner? I think I remember him. Uh, JJ Acocha. Nick Barnby. They haven't really got much of a team, really, have they? Dean Windows, I suppose. Um, not really else really that stands out to me. Maybe they stand out to you, but it wasn't exactly the greatest team in the world. But yeah, we should be beating these. Go straight to the goalkeeper's hands. Maybe that's arrogance of me because I don't know many of the players in the whole team. But I do think we've got slightly better players than them, I reckon. Andrews across to McNamini. Namini takes his time, passes it to Osborne, we're going backwards, not forwards here, Michael Hughes back to Ward. Now McNamini has another go at it, see what he can do, lobs the cross in. Pew, get in, Pew on his right foot as well, he's not usually right footed, so that was a good finish by him. 1-1. One, one. Pew's been a pretty good signing actually, let's have a look. Yeah, 5 assists, 4 goals so far this season. Not too bad at all. How much he costs? It only costs us 215k as well. Very good signing. Need to change that back. Alright, we're still fourth. I think we're just gonna I think to be honest, I think we're not gonna we're not gonna get automatic promotion places. I think the other teams above us are, are just too good. Good header by McNamini. 2-1. Right, let's take off Caro. J Tab in there. Uh, borrowed out. Take you off. Oh no. No 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 no. Right. Um go away. Right. There we go. Jin 
Ginger, Ginger Roberto Carlos is coming on now. Oh, bloody hell, I've put on two players off. I thought, I thought it was the second half then. Misford's not playing very well. Andrews is playing better than him at the moment. Even though I haven't seen Andrews contribute in the game so far, but I'll take on board what they're saying on here. I'll probably have to take off Misford. Yeah, I'm going to have to take him off. He's just not... He's just not playing at all. Well, there we go. Probably on best. Give him a bit of game time. Get him back on track. Yeah, back up to third now. Oh, that was nearly a catastrophe of a defensive mistake there. Uh, can't take any more players off. That'll teach me for take it, putting them uh, doing them early substitutions. Hopefully we can get another goal here and um, make it a little bit less anxious for me. Look at how many. Playing well this game. Oof. Michael Hughes with the blaster. If you can hear that noise in the background, it is currently absolutely hammering it down. So I apologise if that noise is either a Annoying you or making you very sleepy because it's because rain rainfall always makes me sleepy so I don't know if it does for anybody else. All right, anyway, two one still at the moment. We'll be two points behind Watford. Uh, we're still ten points behind Sheffield United, so we're not going to win the title. We still got a chance of getting automatic promotion, but I don't I don't think we're going to get it to be honest. Come on, let's get another goal here. <coughs> Ginger Carlos. Oh, the Ginger Roberto Carlos nearly scores there, Giddings. Right, I don't want no more drama here. I just want this game to end. There we go. Good, good, good. All right, the zoo's out for a few days. Oh, secure praise. Right, I'll be back in a minute with the next game. Right, I'm back. Um, we lack defensive midfielders for this game, so I've had to put Doyle in there in the centre of midfield. Um, and we've got Giddings as left back today. We have got some interesting Giddings, uh, as well as Michael Doyle, Ben Turner, and who was the other one now? Uh, Stephen Hughes. So I've offered them out because our finances aren't the best. I had to do this in the save I did with Coventry in when actually um, Football Manager 2007 was actually out in real life. I remember that save being very difficult because I couldn't really get much momentum because I had to sell my best players every season just to keep the finances afloat. So that's what makes it more difficult as well. And that's why I love this type of save. So... Yeah, so there's going to be a bit of a gap in midfield, centre midfield. We will have to replace them somehow. So we'll probably have to look at the loan market in January or the free transfer market if there's anybody available, but we'll see. We might even have to just promote players from our youth team if we've got anybody available. So yeah, difficult times ahead. It depends on if any of the players go, though. They might not give us what we want for them. At the end of the day, I'm not going to sell a player that's 250k for 10k. That's just not going to happen. Oof. Doesn't benefit the club anyway. Right. Bright, spark, bright start by us. Playing Cardiff today. Uh, we'll have a look at the Cardiff team in a second. Peter Whittingham was in the team, though. I've seen him. I swear he played about 20 years then. Get in. What a finish. I don't think that's going to be allowed, though. Is it, not, is it not disallowed? Okay, fair enough. Time just run well. 1 0 to us. Yeah, Ross Turnbull, Darren Purse, Glenn Lubens, McNaughton, Trevor Sinclair, Trevor Sinclair. He was a great player back in the day. Um, I'm going to add him to the shortlist in case I have to sign one of the free transfers. Ricky Semeco, uh, whatever he's called, he used to play for Villa. 
played quite a few games and then went to Knox Forest, Leicester, West Brom and then Cardiff. Um, Fraser Campbell, Peter Whittingham, Hasselbank. Oh my God, Jean, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank still here? I will definitely I will definitely try and sign him if I can. Look at the look at the attributes here. He's a glorious player even at that age. And they got Rob they got Robbie Fowler as well. Thirty two years old, still probably banging them in. And I'm saying that he's only got two and eleven games. Have I got any money? Can I sign Robbie Fowler? Shall I try and put a cheeky offer in? Uh we're not happy with that, we'll try that. There we go. Imagine if we sign Robbie Fowler. There's me moaning about the finances, trying having to try and sell players, and I've just made it. I'm just going to make it worse now by signing a 32 year old striker who's probably who's probably not good enough to play anymore. If I can't sign Robbie Fallon, I'm going to go for Hasselbank. Right, we've won it. We're winning one 0 Thirteen minutes gone. Potential here for another goal from us. Michael Hughes across. Uh, in the centre to Doyle. Doyle across to the ginger Roberto Carlos Giddings. Pew. Has he I thought Pew was left footed. Maybe he's uh, both footed. But that's two goals he scored now with his right foot. And they've been pretty good finishes as well. And he is a left back. So. Left winger, sorry. But anyway, I'm not complaining. 2 0. We get another one and it's game over, I think. Giddings. Lethal left foot. Look at that for a cross. Beautiful, beautiful goal there. Beautiful cross by Giddings. Right, 3 0. Not too bad position to be in coming up to half time, 3 0. Players don't need to worry too much now, they can take their time, pick out the passes better. Oh, that was a beautiful bit of techers there by Pew. Hasselbank, Ooh, nicely, nice tackle there by Misford, nice to see him coming back and doing some defending. Yeah, Cardiff don't look very good here. We're now second. That's good. If I get Robbie Fowler, I think I'm probably going to try and sell Wayne Andrews or Kevin Kyle, if possible, or both. Because I have, I have Wayne Andrews, I have Misswood, I have Leon Best. I don't need six strikers. Depends on... It all depends on where Robbie Fowler wants to come to us. He'll probably turn down the offer. Hasselbank. He's determined to get... Oh, God, 3-2. Cardiff would have probably been a good save to do with Hasselbank, Trevor Sinclair and Robbie Fowler. I could have tried to sign some more old players as well and turn Cardiff into like an OAP team. I might do that as an offline save. I don't think it's uh, worth doing for YouTube and that, but it'd be a nice fun save for me to do on my own. Good ball. Go on, Misford. Yeah, we don't need to worry. Tenth goal of the season for Misford. something here uh, put them up there makes us a little bit less defensive but at four, when we're winning 4-2 up we can take it a little bit easier not as good as when we were 3-0 up but you know go on oof nearly another one Wayne Andrews determined to try and stay in this team he knows I'm after Fowler that's what he is Right, let's get this game done. I want to see if I can get Fowler in. Is Ian Rush still playing football? Probably not. I'd bring him in if I could. Mark Hughes. Is Mark Hughes still playing? Mm. No, Mark Hughes wouldn't be playing. He's a manager at this point. It's alright. I'm 
talking to myself, trying to figure out old strikers I can sign. <laughs> Les Ferdinand, maybe. I'll have a little look. I'll uh, I'll do a bit of searching. I'll see if I can find anyone. Get in. We don't need to worry about strikers. We've got Misford. I think he's got a hat trick in this game. Fowler tried to impress me there. Didn't, didn't work, unfortunately. Goalkeeper taking his sweet time, boots it out. Fortunately, Andrews didn't do nothing. Didn't do anything with that. Got the ball though. Tap. Andrews now. Try and uses his pace to get past the players. Dora with the ball passes it to Misford across to. Oh, sorry. Andrews has it back. Crosses it in. Oh, beautiful. They uh they work quite well, Andrews and Misford. I think Andrews is more of a target man than, than that. He doesn't really score very often, but he helps Misford score. So swings and roundabouts at the end of the day. Free kick to us, headed, goes wide. A few minutes left. You never know. We might ne we might get another one. Misford with four goals this game, three assists for. I don't know. Well, that was, I think it was Giddens. Then we'll soon find out in a sec. Misford. Oof. Right. Let's have a look. Yeah, Giddens. Giddens with a man of the match performance with Michael uh, Misford. They've combined really well today. I kind of don't want to get rid of Giddens now. Capaldi. Maybe a relation to Lewis Capaldi. You never know. Anyway. We've won this game, 6-3. Very entertaining game for everybody involved. Yeah, he doesn't want to come to us. He's only just joined. Shall we try, let's try uh, his teammate, Hasselbank. Well, let's have a look, see if he comes to us first. Probably won't. Wouldn't be interested. Right, okay. Uh, is the original run out in it? I don't think he is, is he? Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. So I add these to the shortlist, you never know. They never come to us at the moment. Oh, there you go, Christine and Ronaldo. I'll add him just in case he wants to come to Coventry. Um, so we'll add these. Let's have a quick look at them. Jordi Al, probably best player in the world at this point on the game. Look at that. Messi, Messi, will be, Messi will be at Barcelona, won't he? Ronaldo. Not that I would realistically sign these players because, you know, like I said, they probably would ne never play for Coventry in real life. I mean, 22 years old, he's already rated at 160 to 210 million. Absolutely ridiculous, but he's, he was the best player in he was the best player in the world. Don't get me wrong, Messi is probably better in some ways, but like for, for just I, as far as I'm concerned, I might be biased because I'm a Man United fan. You know, on his day, Cristiano Ronaldo, there was no one better. Um, right, let's try and think Van Persie. I think Van Persie will be playing for Arsenal. Yeah, 24 now. Uh, Bergkamp? Bergkamp's not on the day, but have I done it? Have I typed it in right? Bergkamp. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't type it in. So he's an assistant manager. Not a bad assistant manager, though. Right, uh... Thierry Henry. Yeah, Barcelona. 30 years old, though. Let's have a look. 13 goals in 18 games so far this season. Absolute world class player. Such a classy player. Um, Beckham. Just on the off chance, you never know. LA Galaxy. He's 32 years old. Obviously, he's not the sub, but we'll add him to the shortlist. You never know. Um. Rooney, Rooney, obviously young. Let's have a look at Rooney. I'm just getting sidetracked here. I'm trying to find old strikers, but in the end, I'm just typing in every single player I can think of. Right, old players. Ian Wright. I think Ian Wright won't, won't be in this database. He'll be retired by this point. Ian Wright. Not ever. Not that Ian Wright. Okay, so he's not in the database. Um, Sheringham. Okay. Yeah, Teddy Sheringham. Player. There you go. Player for Colchester. Should we try and sign? Hold on, let's have a look. See if he'll come to us first. 
Okay, he will come to us. Shall we sign Teddy Sheringham? Right, let's see if we can. Oh, we're playing Colchester next as well. How convenient. What's happened here? Surely we should be having negotiations, right? Isn't it usually when you. The next day that you get negotiations? We have put the offer in, haven't we? Yeah. Just going to put the payout. Right, that's nice. Click on it now. See what happens. Where is. Where's negotiation? Oh, I've got a, oh, I don't know what's going on here. This is very weird. Let's just keep skipping. Let's keep skipping ahead. Teddy's sharing. Oh, they've rejected. That's why. Okay. Let's try 215. Will they accept that? They will. Good. Oh, here we go. We're signing. Former England player Teddy Sheringham is Darren Anderton still a though? Is Darren Anderton still playing? He is still playing. He's playing at Bournemouth. We sign him. Darren Anderton is interested in coming to us. They probably won't play, but it'll be it'll be fun to have him at the club. See if we sign him first. We are playing Colchester next, actually. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of Deli Deli Adiboga as well. In fact, right. Higher. Okay, that's fine. We we'll get something for him. Right, let's see if we can, if we, obviously we can't sign, ah, James Beattie, that would be too young, we'll be able to sign him. Kevin Phillips, I like Kevin Phillips. West Brom, right, let's add him to the shortlist. Niall Quinn, would Niall Quinn still be playing at this point? Niall Quinn is not, he's the chairperson of Sunderland by now. Peter Crouch, I'm assuming he's still playing football. He's, he's at Liverpool now, we'll be able to sign him, so we won't bother with him. Um, Les Ferdinand. He is director of football, okay. Uh, Alan Shearer, I don't think Alan Shearer is playing at this point, is he? Actually, he might be. Have I even done that right? Shearer. Shearer. Yeah, he's not in the database, so. Chris Sutton. I'm just trying to think of all the strikers possible. Okay, we'll leave it as that for now. Okay, so we've had a few offers for Turner that aren't the best. But we'll accept them. No offers for Giddings, so we'll see that as a sign. Right, uh, Sheringham is coming to us in January. So is Darren Anderton. Darren Anderton will probably be on the medical, in the medical department most of the time. Let's see if I can see if they can give me more in the transfer budget so I can try and sign some more old players. In fact, let's have a quick look. Let's go scouting. Let's go players. And then what we'll do is we'll do it by, in oh yeah, it's international already. So, um, Hold on. Um, yeah, international. Keith Gillespie. He'd be pretty good to have. I always rated him at Man United. I wish he were well, at Newcastle. Tor Andre's blow. Bloody hell. Blast from the past. Uh, let's have another look. Gary Breen, obviously, we already. Dion Burton, maybe. Paul Pescalizzo Lidio. Jim Magilton. John Hartson, Gary Doherty, Dom R Hutchinson, Frank Sinclair, Nick Barnby. We'll add Nick Barnby to the shortlist, you never know. Is Zola playing? 
Actually, I need to get rid of this first, don't I? All right, let's have a look. Cafu. Oh, Cafu. I'll add him to the short list, see if we can sign him when he, he ever leaves. Roberto Carlos. Oh, I'm salivating now. Um, oh, Luis Vigo. Playing for Inter at this point. Paulo Maldini. Obviously, never ever leaving AC Milan. His staff attributes aren't you know, a bit rubbish. Van der Sar, obviously at Man United at the time. Turan, Barcelona, 35 years old, such a great defender back in his day. Uh, Canavero. We'll just have like a dad's, dad's army of football players here. None of them want to sign for me at the moment, but if I'm in the Premiership, you never know. Claudio Reyna, Fernando Couto, Song, oh look at that, he looks like, he looks so cool there, he looks so cool, Suka, I will happily have a team of OAPs, Raul, yeah we're never ever going to get to sign him, unless he gets released by Real Madrid. Patrick Vieira into Milan at this point in his career. Henrik Larsson. We might be able to sign Henrik Larsson. Oh, imagine with a strike force of Henrik Larsson and Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Savo Milosevic, no, we're bothering. Philip Kofi. Landon Donovan. Just keep going. I'm just enjoying this. I'd rather just do this than play the actual game, to be honest. Look at all the players. Why is it not let me click down? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. John Doll Thomason. Brian McBride, he was a pretty good player back in the day. Tugay. Come on. Oh, this is so annoying. Hold on. Hold on. I just saw Kieran McKenna there, former and um, current Ipswich manager. There we go. Right, David Beckham. We've already added him. Rui Costa. Viltord. Right, I'll only spend a few more minutes doing this. I think you'll all be bored. If you want to just forward like 30, 30 seconds from now. Miora, who was probably like about 50 in this game at the moment. 40. Still playing football to this day, this man. He's an absolute legend. Bartes. Oh, I'd love Bartes. He's so unpredictable, but I'd love him at the club. Right, I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, yeah, not interested. Okay. I'll wait until I've got a bit of money and then I'll do a proper little investigation. Right then, we are playing Colchester. Maybe Sharon will be playing. Mackenzie needs to go as well. We've got too many strikers and they're all, not all of them, but most of them are not worth the money that we're paying. I'd say Best and Misford, maybe Andrews to a lesser extent, are the only three strikers that we've got that are worth keeping. Right, so we've got um, Colchester now. Let's see how we get on. Right, first highlight goes to... They've scored already, Colchester. Sheringham's probably regretting coming to us now. I still can't believe Colchester will ruin the championship. 
it just feels so long. I mean, obviously it was 2007, 2008, but just, yeah. So I think the only player that's, that's I mean, Keelan McKenna, I suppose. Is he any good in the game? Uh, not too bad. Aladdin, you never know. A bit young for us. Um, but I think that's it, really. Maybe Alex Pierce is pretty decent, but they haven't really got anybody amazing, have they? Already got to take a player off, which is never good. Oh, we've got a penalty. Super sub, Andrews, has only just come on, and he's got us a penalty. Vest lines it up. Good finish by him. 1-1. One, one. Very action-packed first five minutes. Two goals. You'd be loving that if you did, um, if you got like an actor and you, uh, uh, on the football and you need these two teams to score. Uh, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Right. Um, yeah, you'd be loving it right now. Doyle lobs it up. Oh, that was a beautiful goal. Ben Turner. It's going to be a shame when he goes. Right young prospects leaving us when we need them the most. We're not exactly blessed with centre-backs at the moment either. I might reject them offers, to be honest. I might want to keep these players. Um, if I get promoted to the Premiership, I'm going to make money from that. So I don't, I won't need to sell players. So I'm probably going to, actually, in fact, I'm going to do it. As soon as this highlight finishes, I'm going to cancel them offers. Take them off the transfer list. Uh 2-1 to us, but Colchester look like they're still in the game here. Jackson tries to lob the goalkeeper. Doesn't do it. Right. Transfers. Ben Turner. Cancel. There we go. Might not make him happy now, but he needs to stay at the club. Good save by the goalkeeper. He looks up. Takes his time. Boots it out. Andrews fails to head it. Tap has the ball now to McKenzie. McKenzie with a poor touch. Colchester crosses it in. Good header by Johnny Jackson. 2-2. Oh, no. Ah, we're down to third now. What could have le leapt past us? It's a shame we had to take off Leon Best so soon, especially after he scored. We've got a strike partnership of Kyle and McKenzie now, which doesn't uh, get me too excited that we're going to win this game now. Misford obviously not able to play. Oh, get in. Good good goal by Fraser Richardson there. Good shot. 3-2. Back in the driving seat. Right. Nearly half time. Colchester with the corner. Are they going to get it? Are they going to make it 3 3 before half time? Still got the ball. Kevin Lisby, former Charlton player. They do. Teddy Sheringham, eighth goal of the season. Hopefully, he'll start scoring them for us when he joins us in January. It isn't that long away now. 3 3. First highlight of the second half goes to us at the moment. Turner, Borrowdale, back to Turner, back to the goalie, Zazu has it now, passes it over uh, over the top to Andrews, Andrews drives in the centre, oh beautiful, oh, that deserved a finish, Kyle disappointing there, can I even take him off, I don't think I can, oh I can, yeah, our strikers that have, uh, Leon McKenzie and Kevin Carl are not playing well at all. But I don't want to take them off just in case I get an injury. I feel like Colchester's going to win this game now. 
I think Teddy Sheridan is going to score the winner as well. It's not letting me do a touchline shout, which is really frustrating because I want to give Carl a bonnet. There we go. Right. There we go. I'm giving him a telly off. I'm going to give him a telly off as well. And in. You watch. One of them players I've just berated will score. No. See, you deserved your telling off there. You should have scored that for Mackenzie. Right, okay. Mackenzie's going to have to come on. Uh, we haven't got anybody to put on for him, so we'll take off the zoo and put Hawkins on. In fact, we'll take Mackenzie off and I'll put on... Oh, no, I won't. I better take off Gore because he's knackered. Hughes, Borrowdale can come on. Giddings, there we go. Hopefully the fresh legs will help us get a late winner. Turner with the ball. Stephen Hughes, fortunately, poor pass by him. Giddings with the tackle. Fortunately, they keep possession. Good tackle, Turner. I like Turner and Giddens. They seem to give give their all in this uh, in this team. Giddens is a really good left back. I wonder what happens to him in real life. I'll have a look after this game. I'm assuming he didn't do much career wise after Coventry. Because I don't remember him at all. And I have such a, a ridiculous knowledge of random footballers because of playing this game for 20 years. Oh, there you go. Teddy Schoengren. I told you. I predicted it. Teddy Schoengren with the winner. 4-3. Still time. We might still get a chance of getting back in the game. We're down to 10 men now, though. Free kick to us. Oh, if we had Sheringham up front, he would have scored that then. Right, 4 3, as I predicted, but at least we know that Teddy Sheringham's got a decent record in this league still after all these years. The old bugger can still do it. Right, Kevin Kyle's injured for a couple of days, so is Caro. Uh, shame we can't sign Robbie Fowler just yet. Right then, I'll be back in a sec with the last game of the episode. Right, I didn't realise how long this episode was going to be. That last part of that video I just done was 30 minutes long because of all the faffing around I was doing when I was searching for the players. <laughs> so I apologise for that. So this episode is going to be a little bit longer, um, but hopefully that will encourage you to watch it. I don't know, because the last episode was only about 20 minutes, which is shorter than usual. So it works, it, it works out about the same each episode in the end. Um... But yeah, we've got Misford and Best back up front, which is good. That's our strongest strike partnership. I think it's pretty much our strongest team here now. Playing Norwich in a must-win game for us to get back up towards... Oh, we're now fourth now. I forgot how close it is in the playoffs as well. There's only three points behind us and seven. Uh, we're two points behind Watford again. So we're playing catch-up. Southampton's overtook us for third place. Best. Fortunately, loses the ball. Q over the top, goes straight to the goalkeeper. Oh, lack of concentration by Dizou there, which is not like him. McNamini. Oh, no, that's poor. I am. I'll have a look at the Norwich team in a sec. They got Dwight York. Oh my god, I can I can try and sign Dwight York at some point. Edit Ward own goal. Offside, that's good. Right. Very random that he's playing for they must have just signed him in the game, so yeah. I completely forgot he went to Sunderland. How old is he? Thirty six. Oh I bet Andy Cole's here then as well. Uh 
Oh, he's on loan. He's on loan. Uh, right, okay. So, A. Cole. There we go. Ashley Cole, obviously. Is it Andrew Cole? There you go, Andrew Cole. Oh, imagine if I had Sheringham and Cole back up, uh, playing up front together. They would not be happy about that. They, uh, in real life, they didn't, uh, they didn't get on in real life. Oh, Dion Dublin. Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm getting way too excited. I bet you we won't be able to sign him because the likelihood he's probably planning to retire. Definitely not going to remain in football once he's finished his career. Once the team... Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get him. I haven't got any money, but we'll try. I just want to make an offer just to see if he'll actually talk to us. Yeah, Jamie Currington, Joe Ledley, Darren Huckabee. Darren Huckabee, another former top player. I'll add him to the shortlist. Probably won't be able to sign him. Uh, Joe Ledley. Jason Shackle. Yeah, anyway. Right. I'm so sorry about that. I get way too excited when I see all these old footballers I want to sign. <laughs> I literally want a strike force of Fowler and Andy Cole, Dwight York and Teddy Sheridan. <laughs> I want them to be my four strikers. Oh, beautiful ball. Come on, Misford. I'll happily sell Misford if it comes down to it, even though I love him. But, um, yeah, if it gives me the money. How, how much is he rated at? Actually? How much is he valued at? Oh, it's only 210k. There's no point. That's the thing with this database. The players aren't rated very highly, which is good in a way because you can get players quite cheap. But you can all, it also means you, when you sell players, you don't get much from them as well. Which I think is better actually. I think it's better because I think football, I think money in a way is kind of ruined football. Right, 1 1, former club player. Darren Huckabee scoring the equaliser there. Get back on track, lads. Come on. It's raining again. This uh, Every game I play on this today has been, I swear it's been raining. Maybe it's something to do with the database, I don't know. Zoo gives it to Michael Hughes back to the goalie. I feel like we're uh, lacking creativity here, lads. And then we lose the ball, and then Norwich are going to exploit us now. There we go. Poor by them. Jamie Curriton with his 13th goal of the season for Norwich. Yeah, I think we're, we're if we lose this, we're going to start trickling down the, the league. I think we definitely need to get a point out of this game at least. Norwich are a very good team. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. Anyway, right. Oh, there we go. Game over. You can't win them all, ladies and gentlemen. You can't win them all. But yeah, it's been a fun episode. I've enjoyed this episode. I hope you have as well, watching it. I think I'm going to uh, boot up uh, an offline save as maybe Cardiff, I think, and just sign nothing but old players. Or I might do it as a premiership team or something, and then just sign nothing but old players. I'll have a strike force of Fowler, Andy Cole, Dwight York. Uh, I could probably start a Sunderland manager, actually, because they've already got Dwight York and Andy Cole there, so that makes it easier. All I've got to do then is sign Sheringham and Solskjaer. Oh, is Oli going to Solskjaer in this game? Uh, I'll have a look in a sec. We need to get back in this game though. Come on. Who is playing really bad? Right, Borrowdale is playing really bad. We'll put Giddings on. Best is not playing very good. So we'll put our Andrews tab. Uh, we can't take tab off. We'll just leave this up for now. Actually, we'll take off Kazoo because he's probably knackered. Right, let me just have a quick look. Ollie Gunn. We'll just do that. There we go. Still at Man United. Oh, he's coach. Balls. I was hoping I could sign Ollie Gunn and Solskjaer as a player. Misford with the cross. Gets handled by Norwich. Norwich on the counter attack here. Huckabee probably lined up himself to get his hat trick. Ooh, he did enough to put him off. Turner.
Misfit. Good pass. Ah, oh, striker should have done better there. Andrews should have done better. We're now down to six, everybody. We are sinking, sinking fast. We've done all right though, like I mean, looking at the stats, uh, Norwich have just been better at finishing off. Maybe at Sheringham um, and Andrew Cole will change that. There we go. We can sign Andrew Cole. We've got enough to sign him. Let's just have a quick look. Let's just keep doing this. Now I want to get rid of him. I don't want to change his squad status. He's rubbish. It's really coming down now, the rain. You wouldn't want to be out on this. Right. Let's just skip. We'll just keep going until the next game. Won't play the next game. I just want to see if they accept our offer. Nah. Right. Okay. Can we just end the contract? When's his contract expire? Oh, his contract expires in June. So we'll just sign him on a free transfer, hopefully. No, nah. Look, he probably, he'll probably retire, though, so he won't want to come. I will try again for Dublin in January. Anyway, I'll save it now. Save, save. There we go. Right. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a little bit longer than usual. Um, we'll be back to normal next week. But, yeah, as always, have a nice day, and I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye.